We're always hearing that we should reduce, reuse and recycle materials. But what's the difference between the three things and why should we be encouraged to do it? So why should anyone reduce, reuse and recycle their products? Well, many of the products we buy use raw materials that are finite resources, such as crude oil or metal ores. And remember, finite resources are those resources that we're using quicker than they can be replaced. So that does mean that one day they are likely to run out. If we reduce, reuse and recycle, the finite resources will last longer before they do run out. Another reason why we should do this is it takes less energy to recycle than to produce the material from scratch. For example, it takes less energy to recycle plastic than to produce it from crude oil. Or it takes less energy to recycle metal than to extract it from its ore, from the rock in the ground. Another reason is that if we reduce, reuse and recycle, that means less waste will go to landfill sites and we are running out of places to put our landfill. Let's take a closer look at what reduce, reuse and recycle means. So reduce means buying or using less of something. So do you really need all new clothes for a holiday or can you use some of last year's and mix them up with the clothes that you're buying for this year? Reuse means use the product several times before it's thrown away. So a plastic bottle of water is designed to be single use plastic, but there's nothing to stop us taking the lid off and refilling it from the tap and using it time and time again. If we recycle something, it means the product will get broken down and turned into something else. For example, plastic water bottles may get melted down and turned into a ruler. Now, one of the drawbacks to recycling is it does mean that different materials need sorting out into different sections so that they can go off and be recycled separately. Before we go any further, I'd appreciate it if you could give this video a like if you're finding it useful. So now we're going to look at what happens to the materials when we put them in our recycling bin and they go off to the recycling depot. Well, we'll look at metals and glass because there's similarities between the two. And the first thing that happens is they need separating. So at the recycling center, metals will get separated into different types of metals and glass will also be separated according to its color and chemical composition. Not all glass is the same. Then they need to be broken down into smaller pieces. So for metals, that means they will get shredded by a machine and for glass, they will get crushed into smaller pieces. This increases the surface area. And the next thing is they get melted down. So because we've increased the surface area, it makes it a lot easier to melt them down. And finally, the metals can get molded into different shapes and so can the glass. So once again, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe if you can so you don't miss any future videos.